Houston's Mary Stewart Masterson finds that sometimes life is a bed of roses. You know, love is uh, launched a thousand ships. Denton's favorite RoboCop, Peter Weller, screams into action and screamers. Hung everybody on this planet out to dry, including you and me. Apollo 13 heads into orbit with four Golden Globe nominations and Oscars on the way. Plano-based Frito-Lay comes up with a chip even supermodels can love. And a former Houston school teacher, Yolanda Adams, belts her way to the Grammys. These stories and more on Texas Entertainment News. Wilson, and this is Texas Entertainment News. We're coming to you from the flight deck aboard the space shuttle at Space Center Houston. Here you can get a real idea of what it looks like and sounds like to be inside the space shuttle Endeavor. Plus, we're going to show you a lot of other things about living in space. But first, let's check out a new movie by Houston native Mary Stewart Masterson. The last longer if you put a little seven up in the water. And you made this incredible arrangement of flowers for someone you've never even met? Yeah. In Bed of Roses, Masterson plays a workaholic afraid to fall in love with the character played by Christian Slater. I can't stop thinking about him. Why can't you just go to him? Don't run away. Don't you think that he's worth the risk? Texas, Texas Entertainment News caught up with Masterson at a sneak preview of the movie. Bob Stewart has that story. My whole family is from Texas. And your father? Is He's from Brazoria County, Angleton originally, and my mom grew up in Houston. And I lived in Austin for two years. Did you find some kind of a relationship between your life and the role you played in Bed of Roses? In this case, you know, I've, I've definitely had, had uh, doses of um, workaholism. I understand that kind of loneliness or the fear of letting someone see the real you. I have to go. I'm sorry. What do you think's popular about a romantic comedy? Love is, uh, you know, has uh, launched a thousand ships. Uh. She's wonderful. She's great, uh, beautiful. I think she works very, very hard uh, to try and uh, bring the most that she can to uh, the character that she's playing. Uh, so I think she's, she's fantastic. Have you been pursued like this? Anybody? Not like this by anybody other than stalkers, you know. <laughs> oh, um, well, well. <laughs> you know, so I, I don't think that counts. Currently, Masterson is rewriting Grapefruit Moon, a script she hopes to direct in Austin. Meanwhile, Bed of Roses opened this weekend. Hi, I'm Tom McConnell, and if you'd like more bang for your movie buck, check out the new film Screamers by Denton's favorite Robocop, Peter Weller. What is it, a trick? I couldn't get the top off either. Nope, don't do that. Scared you, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> what a lot of people don't realize is that Weller's a very sensitive guy. Good Lord, you're beautiful. And it's not about the evils of technology, you know? It's about the evils of man. The story is really about peace. In Screamers, Weller leads a band of futuristic soldiers against some truly nasty androids. Listen to me, Chuck. Come up out of the bunker. Come on down, Joe. But Weller thinks this movie's a little deeper than your average sci-fi shoot-em-up. The wizardry of the film, thanks to Christian, is not in the technology of it. The wizardry is in the story. Peace negotiation. Sounds like they're pretty desperate. Are they kidding? This could be what we've been waiting for. The people walk out of there and go, yeah, that's what human beings are about. They're really not about picking up a gun and going and killing people. They're really about, a, you know, compassion. Maybe it's Weller first started acting at North Texas State. I felt part of West Texas. Um, I was a horse guy, and my father owned a, a, a cattle ranch. You know, there was a sort of cross-section cowboy, acid head, revolutionary, patchouli oil amalgam uh, that I tried to be, you know, with a mustache and earring, long hair and all that. Same time, I tried to make good grades. 
and I only dated sorority girls because, you know, hippie girls didn't smell as good as sorority girls did. And so, um, I still have friends there and I miss Texas and uh, I'll be back there though, soon to shoot this film for TNT. Last summer, Apollo 13 brought the Space Center to life for millions of moviegoers. It was the second biggest draw of 1995 and it received four Golden Globe nominations. A lot of Apollo 13 was shot in Houston and two Texans wrote the screenplay. One of the nice things about Apollo 13 was that I wrote it with Al Reinert, so we were collaborating from the beginning. When we first started, we really had um, Kevin Costner in mind. But as we got closer to getting done, I sort of suggested to, to uh, Ron Howard, why don't we consider Tom Hanks? Because I'd seen him and known him and knew that the real Tom Hanks was very much a guy. And I was thrilled when we got him. And we did sort of then hear a different kind of voice in our, in our head, and so Al and I made some changes to, to tailor the movie more to him. We asked co-screenwriter Al Reinert how he felt about the Academy Awards. We don't talk about that. The grosses in the awards and stuff, I mean, like, they, you know, who knows? You got no control over stuff like that, you know? I mean, like, the best thing for me really was coming out of a movie theater after a bunch of just regular folks had been to see it. Al and I worked together really well. I mean, it was perfect. I wrote all the good stuff and he wrote all the bad stuff. <laughs> no. Uh, he ends up actually doing the typing, but I mean, like, I tell him what to write. You're not paying attention if you're messing around with the gun. Now, In other film news, Anthony, Columbia Pictures is set to release Bottle Rocket, a Generation X comedy by two young Dallas back. filmmakers. Get one of those bags. Let's move, come on! A bigger one, you idiot! What do you Don't think? Don't call me an idiot, you punk. Okay, do, you have a, do you have bigger bags for atlases or dictionaries, uh, sir? Hey, come here, come here! Wait, we'll look at the making of Bottle Rocket go. next week. Shirley MacLaine, Jack Nicholson, Juliette Lewis, and Miranda Richardson are in Houston shooting Evening Star, the much-anticipated sequel to Larry McMurtry's Terms of Endearment. And I don't care for escorts. MacLaine won an Oscar for Terms in 1983. And if you loved him in Pulp Fiction, Get Shorty, and even Welcome Back Cotter, John Travolta is coming to Austin to shoot Michael, the latest comedy from Nora Ephron. For information on other productions in Texas, log on to our internet homepage. Next week, Texas films what? figure prominently at Robert Redford's prestigious Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah. Carried Away, shot in Dallas with Dennis Hopper and Amy Irving, and Late Bloomers, a romantic comedy by Dallas filmmakers Julia and Gretchen Dyer. Let's wish them luck at Sundance. Coming up next, Plano's Pentagon of Potato Chips discovers a chip even supermodels can love. You jerk! I never want to see you again. Oh! Savan soft wash pants. They're the only soft cotton pants that don't wrinkle. So you'll always come off looking good, no matter what you've done. Just not chilies till you light up the grill. And that means steaks, like our new Solano strip steak and new steak pico, smothered with onions, bell peppers, and two kinds of cheese. So round up the gang and put them on down to chilies. Chilies grills like no place else. Okay, we've seen the ads, supermodels Vendela, Kathy Ireland, and Naomi Campbell pig out on chips. But a low-fat chip so they can eat like one of the guys and look like one of the girls. Walk like a man, talk like a man, walk like a man, my son. Isn't this fun? I can't do it. Some of the footage was even too manly for the ads. 
Did you know the company behind this started as a snack cart in San Antonio? Lay's potato chips. Oh, crisp, you can hear their freshness. It was 75 years ago that Elmer Doolin started selling corn chips from the back of his Model T. In 1961, his company merged with Lay's to create Frito-Lay. Today, they turn out more than half the snack food eaten in America. We've all grown up with their ads. What? Are you getting anything? Who's the first person to tell you about a movie? Often it's somebody you'll never even meet. The still photographer. Texas Entertainment News went on location to Emilio Estevez's new movie, The Ward Home, to find out what it's like shooting the stars. Background action! Van Redden has shot movie stills from Waxahachie to Hollywood. And he's worked with some of the biggest names in the business. I've worked with people like uh, Robert Duvall, Winona Ryder, and this one, Emilio, is, is great. And Martin Sheen, his dad, is, is really nice. Kathy Bates is nice. And I did Major League Two with Charlie. I've worked with the whole Sheen family now. I call a movie poster a one-sheet. I did a movie shot up at South Bend, Indiana about Notre Dame football called Rudy. Major League Two, stars fell on Henrietta. Robert Duvall, eight seconds, shot in Texas a few years ago. Luke rode a bull his last day of filming. He had been practicing on a mechanical bull. He was a good cowboy. Luke Perry made a perfect cowboy. I personally just don't say anything on the set. It's how I stay quiet. You should see Van's poster of the ward home by April, when the film's set for release. She's been called the greatest actress in the world, and now Vanessa Redgrave makes her debut as a director at Houston's Alley Theater. Redgrave both stars in and directs the Alley's current production of Anthony and Cleopatra, running until February 11th. Lady Redgrave's also appearing at the Alley with her brother Corin in Julius Caesar. You might recognize him from Four Weddings and a Funeral. Totally lost control of you already. If you'd like to see for yourself where the movie magic is made right in the heart of Texas, then the movie studios at Los Colinas is just the place. Do you recognize this Corpus Christi native? Find out when we come back on Texas Entertainment News. this Corpus Christi native, Vera Fawcett, born and raised in Corpus Christi. Here in the Living in Space module, you can get a good idea about life in space. It's got everything from the high-tech bicycle for exercise to, well, let's say one of the comforts of home. You want to know what else it takes to be an astronaut? Well, watch this. <laughs> Look fun? It's the IMAX movie to be an astronaut, showing daily at Space Center Houston. Here on Earth, we do not have a zero gravity room. The only way that we can do it is with an airplane. Another widescreen movie on human destiny tells the history of the space program. No man can fully grasp how far and how fast we have come. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. 
Man on the moon. What? <laughs> this version is formatted for your television. For the full effect, visit Space Center Houston. If you want to check out something a little different in Houston, you might track down Peter Massing and Michael Galbraith. They're known around town as the Art Guys. We are the Art Guys. Art will save your life. We are here today with you to sell some art. No more refrigerators. No more washing machines. Art. 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 Buy our art, art, art today. Um, Believe it or not, these guys are big time artists. Over the years, they've done some interesting performances around Houston. Like bucket feet, set the table, and throwing the first pitch art guy style. You can visit their home gallery and check out their sculpture. Everything's pretty much fair game as far as materials. Marbles, uh, pencils, suitcases like these, these guys back here. We don't sit around and talk about all this stuff. You start out with like these like little colorful little candy things, and you got someone sort of visually interested in the front and you go, oh, that's weird, those are drugs. They may not take themselves too seriously, but the art world does. There's even a glossy new book on their work. And if you've got some young budding artists, take them over to the Houston Children's Museum for some fun, hands-on experiments. The Houston Children's Museum is open daily for all ages. Coming up, gospel superstar Yolanda Adams. And what does she have in common with this man? Find out when Texas Entertainment News comes back. Doing my job on the highway patrol. with Texas. So, looking for a couch, huh? You look like a man who needs comfort. Nice, huh? Massages. Now, I have this exact model in my home. The 286. Built-in TV remote, every shoulder. The works. You'll never want to get up again. Play Couch Potato, the newest scratch game from the lottery. Now, put him in a toehold. Don't give him a nookie. Uh -huh. For seven years, she taught school in Houston. Now she's a Grammy nominee. Gospel star Yolanda Adams. Teaching is in my blood. My mom is a teacher. My dad was a teacher. And the singing was always a part of me because I grew up in the church. My dad, he said, you know what I want you to do? I want you to be the best that you can be. Don't let anyone dictate to you what you should do. Always feel that you have a responsibility first to yourself, definitely to God, 
And if everybody else likes it, that's wonderful. If they don't like it, you fulfill your dreams. I mean, since I was a kid, it was like dream, dream, dream. To say that I've gotten this far in this short amount of time is like somebody granting me wishes. And I know who it is because you never know who's in the audience. And I hope that when they come to the concert that something is said or done or some kind of word comes out that will give them strength. And I want to live the rest of my life doing something for all children so that all children have a way to get to their goals, to climb that ladder of success. Helping kids, helping parents, helping teenagers, anybody that I can help, that's what I want to do. More Than a Melody is up for a Grammy as Best Soul Gospel Album. Texans earned 15 Grammy nominations this year. Up for Best Country Album, Junior Brown's Junior High. I'll do my best to keep you driving slow. I'm just doing my job. I'm the highway patrol. We caught up with Junior and asked about his famous Get Steel guitar. I had a dream one time, back in around 1980, I dreamed that, it, that I was playing this thing. I had this custom made, a guy named Michael Stevens, and I always liked to play a electric guitar and steel guitar, so I had, a, I had to build one in, that would have both in the same body. You know. If you're driving too fast like you shouldn't do, Lately, Junior's been showing up everywhere, TNN and David Letterman. I had a pressing question. What's Paul Schaefer really like? <laughs> He's a nice fella. Nice fella. And what about that hat? It's just the style we used to wear them in the 60s, you know, uh, kind of raised up a little more on the sides. So. Highway Patrol, Highway Patrol. Junior High, up for Best Country Album. Junior's new CD comes out in February. Job on the highway patrol. Also a programmy, the Houston-based Tejano group La Mafia. Next week on Austin City Limits, blues master B.B. King. Hey, everybody, let's have some fun. You only look but once and when you did, you done. Let the good time roll. Let the good time roll. I don't care if you're young or old. Get together, let the good time And when we come back, rising star Doug Supernaut. When it comes to loving you, there's not enough hours in the night. fixing up something special from the grill like our Caribbean chicken salad with grilled marinated chicken and grilled tuna salad with ranch dressing and spicy pico de gallo. So if you like your salads fresh from the farm and hot off the grill, Chili's grills like no place else. Next week, the stars pour into San Antonio for the NBA All-Star Game. Two more Texas Grammy nominees, Brave Combo and Flaco Jimenez, reach brave new heights on the accordion. Legendary Robert Mitchum is back in the saddle riding tall in Texas in his 99th movie. Well, now that we've taken you to the moon and back, that's about it for this week of Texas Entertainment News. But before we go, let's have a look at one of Houston's rising country stars, Doug Supernaw. See you next week, everyone. There's not enough hours in the night not enough time to hold you tight How time flies when you're in love We lay down and the sun comes up I wish that I could set that clock To moonlight 
that saving time Cause when it comes to loving you There's not enough hours in the night 